Praise the Lord. Eke, hallelujah. Everybody, I said, praise the Lord. Go, Gweni, Yamoni, Eke, hallelujah. Tonight, somebody is touching Jesus right there. Lalai, ene, kayo, for what I just said. Miracle. You say, Yano. Help me shout it out. Eba, mi, koki, kie, you say, Yano. What are you there? Somebody there. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you tonight. A night of demonstration, a night of manifestation, a night of the supernatural. I'm asking tonight, Lord, you roll the mountains away out of this place in Jesus' name. Make your salvation available, make deliverance available. Make healing available everywhere to the left, to the right, to the center, to the back, to the front. Miracle in Jesus' name. Make this hour our glorious hour. Confirm it in every life. I thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. And you give me a shout of amen before you sit down. Thank you. It's coming your way already. As the word is coming forth. Power is coming forth. Acts of the Apostle chapter 16. And I'm reading from verse 18. And this did she many days. Is talking about a woman, a lady of divination. It's talking about a woman that had evil power, evil spirit. And she came near Paul the Apostle. She came near magnetic power from on high. And there is a radius of power. There is a magnetic field of power. You come near that, you will not escape a miracle. There's power flowing your way tonight. And just as you are there, the very fact that you are there, you are in the realm and you are in the community of that magnetic power from on high. Something good will happen to you. Are you getting ready? I said, are you getting ready? And there she did many days. But Paul being grieved, turned and said unto the spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. What I want you to underline in your Bible. Those three words at the end of the verse. The same hour. When is your miracle? I said when is your miracle? This same hour. I'm looking at Acts of the Apostles chapter 22. Acts chapter 22. And I'm reading from verse 13. Came unto me and stood and said unto me. Here is Paul the apostle recollecting. When he was Saul. Here is this man reconnecting how the power came and penetrated into his life. He said a disciple named Ananias. He came unto me and he said unto me, Brother Saul, receive thy sight. And the same hour, help me shout it out, and the same hour, I said, Help me, and the same hour. I looked up upon him. His eyes were open. When is your miracle? When is your salvation? 
this same hour. In Romans chapter 8 verse 19. Romans chapter 8 verse 19. There is there's something here waiting for you. You came here, you will not go back empty handed. Heaven has been waiting for you. Miracle has been waiting for you. Now your hour has come. Somebody there where you I said your hour has come. Romans chapter 8 verse 19. For the earnest expectation of the of the creatures waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. He's talking about expectation. And he's talking about manifestation. Manifestation is when we remove the curtain. And we take the veil away. And we hold the thing that have been covering your miracle and covering your blessing and remove the veil like this. Lo and behold, my miracle is there. I want you to join all the things I've been talking about. I spoke about this same hour. And I've been speaking about manifestation. I'm going to talk to you tonight on the hour of his manifestation. The hour of his manifestation. Something is going to happen. I see manifestation right there. I see manifestation right there. Blind eyes, I see the manifestation of sight. Look at that person with the swollen tummy. What the devil packed in that manifestation tonight, that thing will flee away. Expectation always attracts manifestation. As you're sitting there, I'm saying, This is my night. The last time when I will see this mountain. Expectation will attract manifestation. Zero expectation will attract zero manifestation. A little expectation will attract a little manifestation. A great expectation. Your expectation as high as heaven. Your hope as high as heaven. Your desire as high as heaven. And you're looking up and you're trusting him. And you're saying, this is the day. I've been hearing that miracle is coming. It is coming tonight. A great expectation. And a great manifestation. Manifestation of miracle. Of salvation. Salvation is easy tonight. Victory has come. Freedom has come. Manifestation of healing. No matter the name of the sickness. As I mentioned the name of Jesus. Because when he sends his word. The centurion says speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. Tonight you are healed. They carried you here. You will get up and walk home by yourself. They led you by the hand like a blind man. And then you didn't know where you are going today. Nobody will hold you when you go back home. You will see the light and see everything. Manifestation is coming to you. The hour of his manifestation. Total freedom. Freedom from sin. Freedom from sickness. Freedom from Satan. The same hour. I'm reading something to you now. First John. I'm reading from chapter 3. First John chapter 3. 
And I'm reading from the second part of verse 8. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that you might destroy the works of the devil. Why are we here tonight? For this purpose, there is a manifestation that Christ, the Son of God, he has appeared that he might destroy the works of the devil. Just stay there. Just stay where you are. That destruction of the work of the devil will come your way. Because it says tonight for this purpose. Look up at me if you can see me. As you see men, I see you. Why am I looking at you? For this purpose. I said for this purpose. Why are you looking at me? Tell me. For this purpose. I said, why are you listening to me tonight? Did you come here to sell ground nuts? Did you come here to just look at people? Are you a spectator here tonight? Why are you here? Tell me now. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy. Wonderful. I said wonderful. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. I want to talk to you on that manifestation tonight. He has been manifested for a purpose. And this is the hour of that divine manifestation. Three things I want to talk about. And then after number three, manifestation will come. One, two, three. After that, a time of manifestation. Number one, the prophecy of his manifestation. The prophecy of his manifestation. We are not here by accident. Long, long ago, Almighty God made up his mind that the day of manifestation will come. He prophesied about it. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. That appearance and manifestation had been prophesied before. The prophecy of his manifestation. Point number two, the power at his manifestation. He came and power came. He appeared and power appeared. He was manifested and power was manifested. Everywhere he went, Nazareth, power. Capernaum, power. Jerusalem, power. Power. Anywhere he comes, the power at his manifestation. And it's there tonight. I said it's there tonight. The one that opens the eyes of the blind is there tonight. The one that makes the lame to walk is right there tonight. The one that cures incurable disease, that takes away HIV AIDS, is there tonight. The power at its manifestation. Point number three, the partakers of its manifestation. The partakers of his manifestation. Thank God I will be a partaker. Somebody there, I will be a partaker. My sister there, I will be a partaker. My brother there, I will be a partaker. The partakers of his manifestation. Come to number one. The prophecy of his manifestation. It is not an accident that the word of God is declaring to us. And he's saying, for this purpose, for this purpose, the son of God became the son of man. That the sons of men 
can be taken out of the hands of the devil and they will become the sons of God. The prophecy started in Genesis chapter 3. The prophecy of his manifestation is in verse 15. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman. The almighty God was talking to Satan. I will put enmity between thee and the woman. He was talking to the serpent. I will put enmity between thee and the woman. Every woman created by God is not supposed to be friends with Satan or with spirit of serpent. When God created you, he put a demarcation between you and Satan and between you and the serpent. A woman, when you came to this world, you didn't understand. And then as the serpent deceived Eve, she came to you. Satan came. All those evil spirits came. You thought you were going to get into a good covenant at the riverside, in the bush, at the farm, in the village, in idol worship, in all the fetishes, until all the wall of partition between you and that serpent was broken down. Now you bow down. Now you worship. Now you adore that serpent. Tonight, I'm going to remove that thing that links you with that serpent. Freedom. Freedom. Liberty. I will put enmity between thee and the woman. My brother, you're not supposed to be friends with Satan. Friends with the serpent. There should be a wall of demarcation. Anywhere you go. As you are coming like this, Satan will vanish out of the way. All those evil spirits coming to disturb your body and coming to disturb your sleep, coming to scatter your family, coming to destroy your business. And because anytime he wants, like a friend, he comes in and you welcome him. I will put enmity between you and the woman. And between thy seed and her seed. We're coming to the prophecy of the Lord Jesus Christ. The prophecy of his manifestation. Look at that verse 15. It shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel. That's the prophecy of the manifestation of Christ. From that time. When God said, I'll put enmity between you and the woman, the Son of God got ready, about to come for this purpose, the Son of God, for this purpose, the purpose of Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. To break a wall of division between you and Satan and all the works of Satan. And then he says, you will be his enemy, he will be your enemy. He will never come to your house again. Did you, did you give me a great amen there? He will not touch your business again. Tonight, the night of manifestation. That this prophecy will be fulfilled in your life. And you know, the, the prophecy has two parts. That the son of God will bruise the head of the devil for you. And then Satan will bruise him at the heel. That's the crucifixion. Jesus has been crucified already. Ah, you didn't understand. When you had Jesus say, It is finished. He was referring to this prophecy. He has bruised my heel. I am crucified. 
but now I bruise his head. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested. Praise the Lord, he was manifested for me. He was manifested for me. Satan's power is destroyed. Satan's sickness is taken away. Infirmities are gone. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. And he said, it is finished. Isaiah saw him coming. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And then he says, the government shall be upon his shoulder. Isaiah saw him coming. I see the virgin. Behold, a virgin shall conceive. And be with child. And his name shall be called Emmanuel. The angel saw him coming. Hail Mary. Blessed art thou among women. The Holy Ghost will come upon you. Will overshadow you. You will be pregnant and conceive of the Holy Ghost. It's the prophecy of his manifestation. And that holy thing that shall be born of you shall be called the son of the highest. John saw him coming. And the next day John said Jesus coming. All of a sudden he said behold. Manifestation. Behold. Demonstration. Behold. Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. The evil spirits, the new. Because he came to the synagogue. They began to shout out. What have I got to do with you? Son of God. Have you come to destroy us? Are you going to throw us into the pit before our time? That man that had a legion of evil spirit saw the prophecy. He had been in the tomb. Cutting himself. Destroying himself. All of a sudden Jesus appeared. And he ran to Jesus. And he worshipped him. And then the, the, that legion spoke from within. Leave us alone. Are you going to cast us out? And Jesus said, what is your name? He said, legion because we are many. And Jesus said, come out of him. That same hour it came out. The man was free. I'm talking about you. The man was free. I'm talking about you. The woman is free. They saw him coming. They saw him coming. He is the son of God. The prophecy of his manifestation. For this purpose. Tell me. For this purpose. Preach it with me. For this purpose. The son of God. Was manifested. That he might destroy. The works of the devil. Now he came. And when he came. It wasn't a hidden thing. Wise men from the east. They saw the star. They knew it's a special star. And the star directed them to where Jesus was. The one who will finish all your problems. He has come. The one who will deliver you. He has come. The one who will set you free. He has come. And the star led them to where Jesus was. And when they saw him, they worshipped him. Manifestation has arrived. The prophecy has been fulfilled. And then eventually, Jesus now showed himself to the public. It's the second level of the manifestation. The power at his manifestation. Power. Power. Help me. Power. Where are you? Power. That power like bulldozer coming from heaven will blow all your problems away tonight in Jesus name. <laughs> it, it, the power at his manifestation. And we're looking at Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4. 
I'm reading here from verse 14. Luke chapter 4, and we're reading from verse 14. Hey, you look at this, it says, And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit unto Galilee. He returned in the power of the Spirit. He had had warfare in the wilderness against the devil. The devil came like he came to other people. He need to understand. He saw that this like Moses. He need to understand. He saw that this one is like Joshua. He need to understand. He saw this one is like David. I'm going to get to him. I'll put temptation before him. And when he came, Jesus knocked him down. He said, it is written. He fell down. He will fall down tonight. Out of your life. He will fall down tonight. Then Satan, he tried to gather up his strength. He came back again. And then he said another thing. And Jesus threw the word at him. It is written. He staggered and fell. Then he tried, he got up again. He came, number three, third time. And said another thing. And Jesus said, I told you it is written. That time he fell and didn't come back again. And tonight he falls and will not come back again. I said tonight in your life. I said tonight in your business. I said tonight in your family. I said tonight in your body. He, power time has come. What are you? Power time has come. That Satan troubling your life. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested. That he might destroy the works of the devil. And when he appeared, power came. That's why it says over here, and he returned in the power of the Spirit unto Galilee. And there went out a fame of him throughout all the region round about. And then he went to the synagogue. They gave him the book of Isaiah to read. And in verse 18, and the spirit of the Lord, he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Good news is coming to you tonight. Good news to the poor. The salvation is so expensive, you cannot pay for it. You are poor, you cannot pay for salvation. Free of charge, he'll give salvation to you. The miracle for God to create new eyeballs, you don't have money for that. Is so costly, you cannot pay for it. Free is for the poor, he'll give you tonight. You may be able to buy spare parts of car or spare parts of motorcycle. You cannot buy the spare part of your rotting leg, of your weak leg. But spare part of leg is coming from heaven. You cannot pay for it. It's coming to you free of that tonight. For the poor is coming. It's coming. You are going to receive in Jesus' name. He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. No matter what has come to your life to break your heart. A wife has run away from home. I send the Holy Ghost after that woman. You come back in Jesus name. Your husband has abandoned you. And your, your husband is still alive. You are living like a widow. And I'm sending the Holy Ghost after that man. That man is coming back. Your broken heart, the Lord will set you free tonight in Jesus' name. Your child is wayward. And you say, I don't know, I'm going to control this child. 
your heart is broken. When you see the children of other people doing well. And then you remember your own child. Your heart is broken. But tonight, it will heal your broken heart. The miracle is coming your family. They told you that you have HIV AIDS. And they said this one is incurable. And you are marking time. You are saying it remains this many months. You look at yourself, I will die. Your heart is broken. That HIV is leaving your body tonight. Incurable disease is going tonight. Because it says he has anointed me. To preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. And to preach deliverance to the captives. And the recovering of sight to the blind. Recovering of sight to the blind. If you are standing by any blind person there. Stay by them until the time of prayer. At the time of prayer. You will after when we say the final amen. You tell him, you tell her, open your eyes and look at me. He will see you. She will see you. Because there's recoupling of sight to the blind. And to set at liberty them that are bruised. And to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Verse 21. And they began to say unto them, this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. This day, when is your healing? This day, when is your miracle? This day, when will those blind eyes open? This day, that deaf person there, when will he hear? When will she hear? This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. Because there's power at its manifestation. Number one, power to convert. Power to convert. You, you don't have the power. You try to do well, you cannot do well. It, just surrender your life to Christ tonight. He will turn around your life for the better. Something good will happen to you. You will come into Christ. You become a new creature. It is what he will do. Number one. Power to convert. Number two. Power to kill. Incurable diseases will vanish away from your body. Power to kill. All that thing that is hiding about your body. When I mention the name of Jesus tonight. Fear it will go. Asthma, they're gone. Tuberculosis, all gone. Uh -uh. Cancer will not kill you. I said cancer will not kill you. You step on this ground tonight at the hour of manifestation, cancer will vanish away. Power, the power to kill. The power to set you free. The power to remove your sickness. The power to heal you completely. The power to convert. The power to kill. The power to conquer. Every evil power that has waged war against your life. Until this day, you become a conqueror today. Christ Jesus has the power. The power to forgive. The power to make the sinner live. Christ Jesus has the power. The power to cleanse. It will cleanse your heart from sin and make you wholly true. Christ Jesus has the power. The power to destroy. The power to bruise the enemy and to give your soul the victory. Victory has come for you tonight. Matthew chapter 28. Reading from verse 18. 
Jesus came and spoke unto them saying all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth all those things will be rolled away from you that's why the bible says Jesus of Nazareth anointed by God with the Holy Ghost and with power he went about doing good he's coming to your place tonight he's coming to that seat tonight he's coming to that place where the wheelchair is tonight he went about doing good and healing how many people now healing all are you there healing all are you there healing all it's coming your way healing all healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him your own time has come I said your own time has come because there is power in fact if you look at Luke chapter 11 if you don't have your Bible I just read it to you Luke chapter 11 In Luke chapter 11, reading from verse 20. Luke chapter 11, reading from verse 20. And if I with the finger of God cast out devils, no doubt the kingdom of God is come upon you. When a strong man armed keepeth his palace and his goods, his goods are in peace. But when he's stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor wherein he trusted and divideth his spoils. Jesus is mightier than any other power in your life. You see the advertisement. When they advertise, they say they are going to put something on the sand and something, and then they will see this for you and help you. They're looking for your money. You give them the money. You see down there, they do this and that. You of all people, get up out of that place and come here. Power, true power, real power has come to you tonight. It's an advertisement of deception. Advertisement of lie. But Jesus Christ, he makes the pronouncement supported by heaven and earth. Jesus Christ, he makes the pronouncement. But he just came. He said, I can testify. What he said is true. He opened my blind eyes. The, the woman came. I can testify. What Jesus said is true. I was bent down like this for 18 years. He taught me. I got up. Ten lepers come. And the ten lepers said, I can testify. When he said, all power is given unto me. We came to this Jesus. He said, go show yourself to the priest on the way. We were all cleansed and we were well. Uh, that, that ruler of the synagogue can says, I can testify to you. My 12 year old daughter was dead. And Jesus came, he has all power, he raised him from the dead. This one is not an advertisement of lie. This one is not a pronouncement of deception. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested. That he might destroy the works of the devil. Look at that woman coming. He said, Pastor, can I talk? I said, Please, you can talk. She said, I had issue of blood 12 years. And I said, If I may but touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. The moment I touched him, I was made whole. The pronouncement of Jesus is attested to by everybody that had a problem. All power 
power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. It says, Go ye therefore, and then baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have taught you, I've commanded you. And lo, I am with you until the end of the world. Jesus is here tonight. Are you there? I said, Jesus is here tonight. Are you there? I said, Jesus is here tonight. Number one, the prophecy of his manifestation. Number two, the power of his manifestation will come to you now. I said, it has come to your turn. Where are you? I said, it has come to your turn. I'm talking to somebody there tonight. It has come to your turn. A partaker. Not a spectator. A partaker. Not just a visitor. A partaker. Not just an invitee. A partaker. You will, you will get your part in this one. This night you will get your part. That brain that is making noise, that noise will stop. That fire burning in your body, all that fire will be quenched. That uh, see you got from the hospital, that uh, you know medical something whatever, and they say you are dying, you are going, you are not dying yet. Life has come tonight. A partaker. Anybody there? A partaker. The partakers of his manifestation. The partakers of his manifestation. Jesus manifested forth miracle. Look at John chapter 2. John chapter 2. I'm reading from verse 11. The beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory. This beginning of miracles Jesus did in Galilee. And a manifestation came. He manifested forth his glory. And this is a new beginning in your life. Write the date today. Write it down. A new day. I said a new day. A miracle is coming your way. It will open a door that you have never seen. You will move through the breakthrough you have never had in your life. Forgiveness is coming. Freedom is coming. Salvation is coming. Healing is coming. Deliverance is coming. A better life has come. I said a better life has come. No matter what you have today. No matter what you have got today. No matter how happy you are today. Something greater. Something higher. Something richer. Something better. Something more honorable. Something more desirable. A better thing is coming in Jesus' name. How did that manifestation come at that time? It's in verse 5. You know, that verse 5, they did it before the manifestation came in. Verse 11. Look at verse 5. His mother says unto the servants, Whatsoever he says unto you, do it. That's how they became partakers of that miracle. Whatsoever he says unto you, do it. That's how manifestation came. That's how your manifestation is coming tonight. Whatsoever. 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 He says unto you. Don't wait for them. Don't think about that other person. Don't think about this or that. Whatsoever he says unto you, do it. What does he say? He says, repent and believe. Simple. 
What does that mean to repent? Turn yourself around. All those things you have been doing, all those places you have been going, you are looking for happiness. The happiness has not come. You are looking for joy. The joy has not come. You are looking for fulfillment. Fulfillment did not come. You are looking for good luck. Good luck did not come. Everything you are looking for is here for you tonight. Am I talking to somebody there? I said everything you have been looking for. Congratulations. Congratulations. Ah, you are here today. Joy has started. Happiness has started. All those good things you are looking for. See, they have come today. But he said, repent. Turn around. And turn away from Satan. And turn away from sin. And come and turn towards Jesus Christ, your Savior. He says, repent. Believe. He says, confess and forsake. Confess and forsake. Uh, very quickly. Christ, I am a sinner. You are my Savior. I receive you as my personal Savior. One minute, two minutes, you are through. And a better life has started. And a great life has started. Happiness and joy without end will start in your life tonight. Believe, then you said, come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy lady, and I will give you rest. Whatsoever he says unto you, do it. And you'll be a partaker of the manifestation tonight. Salvation will be your own property, personal belonging tonight in Jesus' name. Healing will be your blessing tonight in Jesus' name. Deliverance will come to you tonight in Jesus' name. You have not been sleeping. Tonight you will sleep like a baby. New life has come. Eternal life has come. We are not going to waste any time. I am looking for partakers now. I don't want to talk to the onlookers. I don't want to talk to the spectators. I am looking for those people who are going to partake us tonight. A partaker. A partaker. A partaker. A partaker. Partaker of his manifestation. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Ex bowed and eyes closed. You mean it from the depths of your heart. That tonight you have not come to a football field to watch players play. That tonight you come to be a partaker of the forgiveness of the Lord. Of the freedom of the Lord. Of the salvation of the Lord. Heads bowed and eyes closed. And you are saying, I am a partaker tonight. I am a partaker tonight. I am a partaker tonight. You will raise up your hand. Partaker, only the partakers. Partakers, only the partakers. Partakers, only the partakers. You raise up your hand. You say, Jesus, I am here. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested. For me, the Son of God was manifested. That he might destroy the works of the devil. Jesus, I am yours tonight. What are you? You raise up your hand. You want him to forgive you. You want him to take your sin away. And then to work the greatest of miracles in your life. Heads bowed. Eyes closed. And you will raise up that hand now. You raise up the hand to Jesus. We're going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. All these who have come to Christ as Savior, according to your promise, receive them, forgive them, save them in Jesus' name. Thank you for saving them. Thank you for forgiving them. 
thank you for the manifestation of your peace in their hearts now. Thank you for what you've done. In Jesus' name I pray. Put those hands together and show that you are happy. Salvation has come, you are happy. Forgiveness has come, you are happy. We have not finished. Manifestation of healing and miracle is still coming. It's coming your way. I said it's coming your way. Manifestation, demonstration, miracles, healing, deliverance. As you hear the final amen, the manifestation will be there. If your eyes are blind, get ready to see. If you are lame, sit on the wheelchair or lying on the ground. Get ready, the power will come and wake you up there. You stand up, a miracle will meet you halfway. You brought anybody deaf and dumb. Healing is coming upon them. They will hear, they will speak. You have one leg shorter than the other. You can even sit on the ground if one leg is shorter than the other. And stretch those two legs. While I'm praying that short leg will grow out and match the other one. If you have broken bones, the Lord is going to touch you when I pray now. Tuberculosis, cancer, ulcer, appendicitis, whatever, a miracle is coming your way. Power is coming your way right now. If you are ready for your miracle, you raise up that hand. When you hear the final amen, check up, it's there. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for this hour. The hour of your manifestation. I come on behalf of everyone here. And I pray that you heal them in Jesus name. I command that spirit of insanity, madness. Come out in Jesus name. All those things walking about in the body right there. You serpentine spirit and you scorpion spirit. I command you. Come out in Jesus' name. All those evil spirits, familiar spirits, I command, come out in Jesus' name. I break that yoke in your life. I remove that curse out of your life. I declare, pronounce a manifestation of healing, deliverance upon you now in Jesus' name. I pray for all those who have any swelling in their body that swelling in your stomach swelling on your breast swelling in your buttocks swelling in the private part swelling in your legs I command that swelling come out in Jesus name I command that cancer to be healed you can suck germs. I command you to die off from there. You are the work of the devil. And Jesus Christ has come. To destroy the works of the devil. Come out in Jesus name. Cancer be healed. Also be healed in Jesus name. HIV AIDS I command you right now. Be healed in Jesus name. And all that seed that is making your body hot and all that, I command, be healed in Jesus' name. All the devil knocks in your life, knocking your head, knocking your heart, knocking anywhere, I command that knocking to stop right now. Be free, be made whole, delivered in Jesus' name. I command those broken bones to be joined together right now. That short leg, I command you to grow out. Short leg, grow out. Short leg, grow out. Lord, do it in Jesus' name. Those who are paralyzed, you're sitting on a mat, you're sitting on a wheelchair, 
you are hanging on crutches I send for the power of God on your body for this purpose the son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil I command paralysis your body come out in Jesus name arthritis I command you come out in Jesus name the waist chain, the waist pain and the back pain and the one that cannot stretch up I command the hand of the Lord to touch you you are loosed you are free you are delivered receive your miracle in Jesus name those who are lame in any way paralyzed in any way maimed in any way Lord touch them right now set them free right now heal them in Jesus name those who are deaf and dumb I pray the Lord will touch your ears right now and the Lord will touch your tongues right now receive your hearing in Jesus name receive your speech in Jesus name those blind eyes it has come to your tongue blindness you cannot stay there blindness you cannot remain there I command those blind eyes be opened and begin to see in Jesus name whatever bandage of the devil closes your eyesight I remove that bandage cataract glaucoma I remove you right now receive your sight in Jesus name Lord everybody now should be a partaker of miracle to my right and to the left at the front at the back in the middle anywhere you are hearing my voice now be a partaker receive your miracle receive your healing receive your deliverance you are free in Jesus name Lord I thank you because I know it's now I know there's a manifestation now I know there's demonstration now I thank you Lord it's confirmed in Jesus name I pray it has happened I said it has happened put those hands together for Jesus and clap and let the devil run away from that place if you were blind before open your eyes now you can see